Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Warriors of Rochi 4. This is Nick and... <coughs> Excuse me, we are here to continue on. Um, we're going to check out this training area that we have. Uh, because... Why not? Uh, okay, here we go. So we got new destinations. Um, uh, who should we go with in here? Uh, I'm gonna th let's throw Donai in there. Guan Yu and who else should we throw in? I love the Hojo. Okay, you guys go and do your work. And then it's a costume. We got costumes for anybody yet? Uh, with no helmet. And what costume? was nine costume. Whoa. I'm gonna go with that. And she has... Oh, she doesn't have a normal weapon either. It's the, uh, that weird bow thing. Well, that's okay. Let's do these events here real quick, because it looks like we get quite a few of them. We recruited eight people in our last episode. Because uh, we fought Simi and the Day Army, so that brought a lot of people to us. Oh, Master Guan Yu. No. Lord Guan? No. Holy is he gone? Um, holy cow. Can you a note? As a soldier of honor, who could have no greater joy than to meet a true legend of honor? It is the true pleasure of me, of me to meet a youth such as yourself, Master. I can you show you? Uh, who worships the concept of honor so devotedly? Oh, I knew you would appreciate my devotion. Simply hear you say the word honor brings a score to my very soul. Master Guan Yu, would you explain to me the true meaning of honor? I don't know if this is the true meaning or not, but I can tell you what honor means. Please. Honor is the most significant and revered concept of the world. <coughs> Excuse me. The honor tying together the Tying together our Lord's vassals and his people. I cannot live if that is not protected. A Lord must honor his vassals by showing them trust. A Lord must honor his people by knowing their struggles and sharing them. My brother lives by this creed. I understand in both cases actions are far more important than words. Then, I, your humble servant, declare here and now I will live by your words and, and show honor to the people. That is a marvelous attitude, but you should make sure not to overdo things. Perfect. Sounds like he's willing to go above and beyond to make it better. You got my child, you got like everybody. Ah, oh, my child. That's such unique armor right there. Unique? Is it a compliment? My armor is my pride and my joy. My child is the splendid. My armor, spear, and horse make me worthy of that name. Interesting. You have an aesthetic to match your skill in battle. Truly glorious. Is that, so, is that what you worry about during battle? Thinking about appearances is likely to get you killed. It's exactly why they matter so much. And it just can't flinch, fall back in fear. It's why you attempt to look my most glorious at all times. Whatever glory you have inside makes no difference to how you look. That's why you need to dress the part. Hmm. I understand. My intent to display my warrior spirit through my arm. Then you and I are alike indeed. I like you, Chao. I look forward to fighting alongside you in the future. I shall answer your kindness with deeds in battle. Prepare to reserve Chao this flood as he comes to the enemy ranks. That's a weird connection right there. I did not see that one coming between those two. I've got a quest for you, lady. Are you in? Taking into account your skill at inventing, could you make a large steamer for me? I want to be able to cook a large number of meat buns all at once. Lord Jugalion is skilled at making meat buns, and as his wife, so am I. I don't mind helping, may I ask why? Because I want to feed everyone my meat buns, of course. No one can fight on the empty stomach. In which case, let me your hand. We need to start collecting ingredients. <laughs> I'll find, I find that you're so kind. Now everything will go according to plan. I'm sorry, what did you say? Nothing, nothing. At all. Thank you again for helping out. That is so weird. It's, she's not someone you would think would be a nice person knowing who her husband is. I am just saying. Damn, we got... Holy cow, we have a lot of them today. You were civil office once, weren't you, Master Don? Where did you get those levels from? 
No police in particular, really. A lot of military training, like manual labor, building canals. That brought you up so impressive. You know, I can carry a little lighter weapon than everyone else. I have to carry a little lighter, lighter weapon than everybody else. That's why you push yourself even harder. I see. Oh, you know what you eat. They so they say. What things do you normally eat? Whatever is put in front of me. <laughs> Story of my life. Ah, uh, pig's feet though, I especially love those. I don't care how big the plate is, put it down in front of me and I'll eat the lot. Pig's feet? Yeah, they look like they're making you shrunk. Pig? I need to go hunting. She's gone. What are you unique? Shall we say, young woman? Yeah, that was certainly a unique situation. Weird. Uh, Lady I, I have a few questions I would like to ask you, do you mind? No, not at all. Ask me what you wish. They say you were always a side player that was under your care, is that true? Who was spreading such rumors about me? But I do not disciple just anyone. I only disciple those who I found worthy of my love, you understand? See me. I see. So what kind of person is worthy of love, AI? Well, that depends. For example, someone who is intelligent, has talent and ambitions to rule the land, yeah, who is proud and who respects his wife. Such a man should be worthy. Hmm. I feel I am being strangled. A silk handkerchief. Perhaps I'm overthinking things. Yes, I'm sure you are. You're really quite adorable, see me. Who would have such a pretty face and a charming smile could be so dangerous? She reminds me of me awfully of someone close to me. Yeah, probably your wife. Just say it, dude. Uh, Lady I, you lead our allies with such skill. If you have, if you have a secret, can you share with me? I share my love with everyone. Be content with a merciful heart, and you can train anyone. Train, you say. But an appealing word, I tend to use food to get my family to behave. I was thinking maybe I could also learn to control them with words. Are you a good cook? I think so. I can make dishes that cause my boys to particularly lose their minds. But I don't know if they will work on, work on the others in this world. How about we cook together sometime soon? I would like that. Dude, she is all for cooking. And I know if I was part of this army, I would be like... Please don't go anywhere. I need your cooking in my life. Regardless if you cook bad or good. <laughs> okay. I think... Let's go ahead over here, see who we need for this next one. The Fierce Tiger of Jiangdong. Let's get the elite members here real quick. Lady I. Okay. And then... Let's get her leveled up. She's brand new, so I don't think I'll have anything too crazy for weapons. I, I don't think. Yeah, nothing new for weapons for courage. And then you just have a bunch of dish rags. Not really, but for real though. Okay, let's see. Charge attacks. So two of those. And then we'll do two of the courages. Okay, let's do that for now. Um Yeah, let's just do that again. I don't really like putting a lot of stuff into these lower level characters just because we're not gonna use them too much in the future. Or um the weapons, I mean, not the characters, the weapons themselves. Uh, just because, like I said, we're not going to use them in the future. There's no point in upgrading them, I don't think. Uh, the Fierce Tiger of Jiangdong. The LA forces of Nobunaga Oda and Sun Jian's forces approach. Aid the advancing Sin Quan in, attempt to, in his attempts to surpass his father. Awesome. The rebel forces broke the coalition between the Wei and Dei and brought them into the fold. The Sudo Dama forces have remained allied with Nobunaga Oda to just the Wu under Shunjian, a faction of Wei. Any faction of Wei. Rebels in the Oda army were now equal in size. But the intent of Nobunaga remained a mystery. The true identity of whoever was lurking behind him also remained unknown. The situation still tense. Sun Quan decided to try and convince his father Sun Jian to also turn from Nobunaga. A merciless battle between parent and child was about to unfold. Um, a danger to this world and a 
Machinizations of Zeus. Thank you for sharing this with me. Father, does this mean... I already have my contract with Nobudaka as the head of the Sun family, and that's a great death pledge. But this isn't the time to be fighting amongst yourselves. You think that's in Kwan? Uh, you should surrender and join me. If the convictions won't allow you to do that, then bury your fangs. Even if it means fighting your family. Father, very well. The child of the tiger will fight to persuade you of our cause. Give it a try then. Alright, Lushu. Once the fighting starts, you'll take command. I look forward to seeing how you've grown. I shall show you. Very well. I'll show you my full strength. This is kind of weird because we have a good chunk of um, Wu forces in here. And we're going to be going up against a lot of the Wu forces. Uh, obviously, because the Sun Jian is since he's the king. Um, let's see. Oops. And then everybody who's with us is a Wu officer. Okay, so we have our god here. Okay, let's do this. Oh. I remember in the last one I was not fond of her at lower levels. Her, her uh, charge attacks, amazing. Once you, once you, uh, once you got her up in levels, so. though. I even looked to see what the conditions were. Win the battle with uh, any enemy who could be defeated. 300 enemies using unique. Okay. Not bad at all. Especially when we just do this. And then. Ooh. What? Ooh, sorry, bro. I think I did. Joking. Yeah, like sit here and wait for my mirror to fill back up. This is the one downside. Lady Ai is not very strong, and I need to level her up. Because, yeah, especially if we have we'll be using her in future battles, we have to make sure she can actually take things. Oh man, we're definitely gonna switch to something else. So good thing uh, I'm say so it does suck. Sun Kwan has to fight his wife or his guy. I have no idea. Uh, no, not cool. Come on, come on. There we go. Pick it, pick it. I feel like the, these shoes are kind of warming up to me. Now that, especially since she's getting stronger and getting a little bit more used to her uh, moves, definitely aren't as bad as they were before. Okay. What's gonna happen? Something's gonna happen down at the bottom of the map. I guarantee it. Who's down right before? Whatever happened is going to happen. Something, something's happening. Who's down here? You okay, let's get as much people as we can in front of us. Ooh, I was just saying, there we go. 
That's what I thought. I was like, there's no way Sumpong is not gonna be here. There's no way this can end the fight. At least I don't think it ends the fight. Okay, I'm gonna say there's no way it's in the, the fight right there. Okay, let's switch here real quick. Time to plan. Oh crap. What's the plan? I didn't, wasn't even reading. Hey, my bad. I'm not paying attention at all to what they were saying. I know there's someone in the, in the comments who's going to be like, tell me exactly what it was. I've been over here just clueless. Stand for him, push him all back, guys. Mark that 300 mark. Kills. So that's good. Oh, okay. Oh, never mind. I thought this was a close gate. Guys, don't mind me. Just passing through. They are sending like everybody I know over here. Of course you used to There's so many of them. What a that one whopping kill though. I just want to wait until... See what happens here. This one, I'm not expecting a lot. Oh, we got, we got a couple of them. Okay. Just because of how many officers there are. Definitely need to switch off to a little bit strong. This is going to be There we go. Oh, good attack, good attack. Well, I think we took down two of them. Ooh, crap. And then... There, perfect. Yeah, we got, at least we got two more officers over here. So right now we got three. See, I can just a little bit longer. I would have really not to have to fight anybody extra at this, at this moment. So, like, please keep this one safe for me. Okay, last one. It should get us to where we need to be. Boom! There we go. <coughs> this is driving me nuts. I have like three charged moves. Oh man. I'm not gonna lie, this is a good charge move. It's just annoying though. Okay. okay Let's do this. Bro, oh, we're coming, we Dude, seriously, that's a come up coming up. Like no doubt in my mind. Okay. Perfect. Then... Oh, you're back. 
Oh man, it's the whole family. It's a family reunion. Yeah, you you are gonna fit pretty hard, but I'm sorry, you're not gonna win. So, a weird divide to see with the room forces concerned like how close they are together. Where's that big patch of them going? Okay. Where is Lady... Where's she at? There, okay. It looks like she's gonna make it. I'm not gonna worry about it too much. Crap, I'm just over here just like, ooh. Dang, not expecting... Joyu. Yeah. I'm not advancing on this camp, though. Oh, I guess that was a way too easy to fight. Crap. Oh, Trish might give me. Oh. Sorry, let me go get, let me go get Lady Hawk. Whatever it is. Sure, meet her over here. Crap. Where? Okay. Yeah, especially this season. Over here. Oh no, you guys need to just stop. Sorry, I need her for things. I need her to go talk to people for me. Come on. So you guys may not have it. I love how crazy some of these weapons are. Like, just the fact that we're fighting with a tablecloth almost is what it almost appears to be. It's just insane on a book. The fact that it's actually a good weapon. I love this weapon. This is probably one of my favorite weapons in the whole game. I don't think I would change it. I don't know about her. Oh, yes. I remember this was Sue attack. It's like the perfect one right there. Where did you go? Okay. Awesome. Let's go, me lady. Yeah, sorry, but not sorry. Probably the lion today, as much as I love the tiger, the lion will prevail today. Perfect. Okay, now I'm gonna go head out. Yeah, you could just join the army and might make it a lot better. I don't know why I left her without fighting more. I think I was under the impression for some reason that she was going to join our army. No, honestly, I don't know why I thought that. Okay, nice big hit. 
Ooh. Oh. Yes, to a thousand hit mark too. And there we go. Did that not use Cram? Where are these other people coming from? What are you guys doing back there? You avoided being attacked and you could just hide him in the back room. Okay. Oh shit, that sucks. I didn't get the last one. Oh well. Still victory. You have grown strong, Kwong. You have defeated me. Just as promised, I will follow you. You are so cool, brother. Wow, it was a lot of fun fighting you. <coughs> Thank you. However, this victory is, everyone th is thanks to everyone. Master Shun, Master Kojo, particularly distinguished themselves. Indeed, Master Shun, you have impressed me deeply. Not at all. Master Hojo had not been in time. I'm not sure what might have happened. Sorry about that. I was intentionally getting the fight, the fight that tiger. I was spent a bit too long dressed in, dressing for the occasion. <laughs> the same as ever. I've been waiting to fight you seriously too. I'm glad we got that chance. Father, tell me. You know what Nobunaga is trying to do? I can't tell you that. However, Nobunaga has conviction. I felt this was all through fighting him, and that's why I decided to let him strike. If you don't like the way Nobunaga does that, you should fight him until you understand. If you want to know the truth, just keep on asking him. You can't tell us any more than that? Very well then. We should continue our fight with Nobunaga until we understand. However long that takes. Sun Jian, said to be the descendant of Sun Tzu. He was an officer who maintained a bright, calm outlook on life. He excelled at numerous roles and was a wise leader, a valiant fighter, and a gentle father. After distinguishing himself against pirates, he, anticipa or he participated in suppressing of the Yellow Turban and was made prefect of Chengzhe. He served as a vanguard in the coalition against Dong Zhong, or Dong Zhu, excuse me, and was among the first to arrive in Liuyang. <coughs> Sun Se. As the eldest son of Sun Jian, he made a name for himself as the little conqueror. For the way he left, he let, uh, he led, he lit, he lit with enjoyment and then missed the fight. That's kind of a weird wording. I'm sure translation error. A brave, energetic leader, he viewed all people equally regardless of rank or position. Due to his free spirit and nature, many capable men gathered around him, and along with his childhood friend uh, Zheng Zhao. Oh, Zhu, holy cow. Zhou Yu, he led the foundation of the Wu Kingdom. Sun Sheng bright and effective. Holy cow. Victacious? Uh, she eagerly took to the battlefield and consistently pro proved that she was a good as good as or better than the man around her. Though her straightforward personality caused her to be one of the first to charge her enemies. Her skill with weapons was proficient to allow her to survive. She earned the nickname Princess of the Bow due to her beauty and her proficiency with a bow. So you? Brother no more. To Sun Tse, it is often said that he led or he hid a fierce passion underneath his dignified exterior. Skilled in the military arts, he led his troops in victory in countless battles. He was a talented in literature and music, and his elegance, his elegant mannerisms earned him the nickname The Handsome. Zhou Yu. <laughs> Ashun Kwa, daughter of Kuo Shuan, and the future wife of Zhou Yun, uh, Zhou Yu, uh, with her older sister Dao Kuo. She was known as the, one of the beautiful two Kuo's. She had a certain innocence and na naivety about her. It is said that she joined her husband on the battlefield partly on a whim. For this reason, she often showed a rare sort of courage on the battlefield. <laughs> Da Kuo, uh, daughter of uh, Kuo. same thing, future wife of Sun Tse. She was the youngest sister of uh, Shin Kuo. She's known as one of the beautiful two Kuo's. Born with a gentle soul, she learned how to fight after her strong desire to aid her husband overcome her aversion to battles. That's great. People who learn to love to fight, which isn't a, which isn't a bad thing. The fact that they went and helped their husbands, yeah, you know, good for them, good for them. Especially, you know, 
if that was historically accurate, that'd be amazing. Obviously, this is a little fictionalized. Obviously, but still, the Oda armor is closing in, being led by Master um, Mishurai. My father? Really? Mishurai Akaki, right hand of the Devil King. Um, they may finally take a notice of the rapid growth of our forces, which means a little strength for the one holding the bracelet. You mean me? No. Or yes, no doubt about it. We have to protect our key advantage in the battle with Nobunaga and Zeus. Right, I'll do my best. If I see my father again, then I'm going to. Protecting the bracelet. That's our next mission. Is Zeus, like, is Zeus a thing? Like, do they know about him? Like, obviously they know of the gods. But do they know that Zeus is coming for them? I don't remember anywhere it's saying that Zeus was coming after them. So I'm wondering if, if I missed something by accident? Or if they do know. Okay. Dong I, why are you gonna be out training? Because I need you in this party. Oh, crap. Dang it. Okay. Skip this real quick. Skip this real quick. That never happened. Never happened. <laughs> okay. Let's go back. Let's get everybody re-equipped real quick before we head out to the battlefield. I wish there was a shop to buy weapons from. Something like that. Okay, there's that one. It's not the one I expect. Oh, some of these guys don't have the uh, sacred treasures that I would honestly expect of them to have. Okay, no. Oh, good. She just starts off. Okay, good. These guys just start off with better weapons. But, oh, man. Hey, why can't you just start with a good weapon? Okay, let's see what we got here. The battle will become more intense from here on, little girl. I recommend you hide yourself away from danger. Mm, don't treat me like a child. I can fight as well as anyone. You may think you're fine, but those about you will be concerned for your safety. What if something were to happen to you? I can't just sit here and do nothing. You and Lord uh, Joyu are out there fighting bravely. You can get hurt too, you know. Well, of course, that is possible. Then I want to go with you. I want to laugh, fight, get her alongside you. I hate just waiting on the sidelines. You imbecile, why I stand, I will not allow any harm to come to a lady like you. Huh? Really? In that case, I'll fight next to you. Then no need to be worried. That's not what I meant, you imbecile. Too bad is how she's taking it, and she's gonna be happy about it. Chukwu, so I have found something interesting. Or have you found in anything interesting in this world? <coughs> Excuse me. Interesting? Hmm, let me think. Sorry, I'm not sure. They tell me not to go too far on my own. Hmm, we're quite similar to them. My father was always stopping me. Uh, why don't we go exploring together? Something we can't go do alone, we can do together. A secret exploration, just the two of us. Great idea. You got me in, Mr. Kyle. Great. That's what was it. Two of us will venture together. Hey, she's popular. You're a lot like a ten Tanuki, aren't you, uh, Lord Tawagawa? You're so cute. Tan a tanuki. Does that to please you? Tanuki are shy, mild, man, and well-behaved. They're wonderful animals. Oh, I see. This is a fresh perspective on things. Where I come from, Tanuki is not very well regarded. It often appears as the evil trickster in ancient fables. Hmm, that doesn't make any sense. Tanuki are sweet and adorable, just like you, Lord. A crazy blush to my cheeks to hear you praise me so. Maybe it's not so bad that you call it Tanuki. Really? Then do you have a mind to call if I keep calling you Tanuki? Well, I... That's not exactly what I... If, if you assist. Yay! Thank you, Master Tuniki! Finally, she's done. Holy cow. You're popular. I wouldn't expect the sons of such a historical te technical, technical family to be quite so easygoing. I thought you'd be more sensible... Sensible... Be more sensitive tactician type. Maybe my answers are like that. With all their detailed writings, I prefer to make... Make use of these tactics by fighting in battle. Indeed, I think we're going to get along. The Tiger of Zhangdong and the Tiger of Tai. Two tigers taken to battle together. Got this tiger in. Let our claws of fangs render our foes. 
And I think this is the last one. No. Hey, what are you doing there? Origami. I'm folding a paper crane. You're making a crane out of paper? That's incredible. Would you teach me how? Of course. First you pull it apart like this. Then they open it like a flower and... Wow, it's really a crane. Would you make one for me? Oh, I feel like you're being pissed. I'm being pissed about my little sister. I love this sound. Ah, Master Hanzo, you kept us so quietly. You surprised me. Forgive me. I am Shadow. Do you play A little, but I like smoothness of your skills. I'm sure you bring some depth to the performance, though. Your life as a little, as a Shadow must provide rich experience you can draw from. Perhaps we could play together, just the two of us. As you know, I don't want to stand out. Understood. Oh, dude, holy cow. Okay, guys. Well, I actually think I'm going to call it here for right now. Uh, because this battle sounds like it's going to be a big one. And I don't want to be having interrupted or anything like that. Um, so, um, yeah, we're going to end it here. Uh, we'll be back here soon with the next episode with the with this gigantic battle protecting the bracelet. And I cannot wait for that battle, guys. Thank you so much for your time today. Hope you have a wonderful uh, day. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Remember, like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.